IPERS 2019 Research, Innovations and Creative Work Highlights of the University of Peradeniya from June 2018 to June 2019. Video shows only few among many highlighted research, innovations and creative work of the University of Peradeniya, the Faculty of Agriculture. Being the center of excellence in agriculture higher education in Sri Lanka, the faculty has contributed numerous cutting-edge research findings which has greatly impacted on the development of the agriculture and allied fields. Global photosynthetic capacity is optimized to the environment. The research introduced a new theory offering a robust strategy for dynamically predicting photosynthetic capacity in earth system models. Extensions to the Michaelis Menten Kinetics for single parameters. A robust scheme was formulated by defining correctly a century old Michaelis Menten Kinetics. It can be used to evaluate any biochemical transformations. Bulk storage of mango and pineapple pulp. The study found that bulk storage of mango and pineapple pulp under cold storage 4 degrees Celsius is better than storage at ambient 28 degrees Celsius temperature. Entrepreneurial competencies and entrepreneurial orientation. Moderating effects of firm age and firm size. This study argues that moderating effects of firm age and firm size extend significant insights into firm behavior although extant literature has overlooked the influences by treating them as control variables. National soil organic carbon estimates can improve global estimates. The researchers estimated spatially resolved soil organic carbon stocks in Sri Lanka. These national inventories have a great potential of upgrading global inventories of soil organic carbon stocks. Layers of regulation insights into the role of transcription factors controlling mucilage production in the Arabidopsis seed coat. The study suggests approaches that should provide a more accurate picture of the function of transcription factors involved with mucilage production and release. The role of agricultural land use pattern dynamics on elephant habitat depletion and human-elephant conflict in Sri Lanka. The study identified some of the traditional and alternative cropping and land use systems with the potential to minimize human-elephant conflict in Sri Lanka. Order removal in fish storage facilities. The researchers present a promising nanotechnological application of titanium dioxide photocatalysis combined with an activated carbon filtration to remediate the odor problem in fish storage facilities. Application of image processing in sorting pepper at industrial scale. Faculty of Allied Health Sciences The Faculty of Allied Health Sciences comprises of six departments all the departments are committed to carry out research activities in relevant fields. Childhood predictors of lung function trajectories and future COPD risk. A prospective cohort study from the first to the sixth decade of life. Out of the six potential lung function trajectories identified in this study, two were novel. Non-prescription sales of antimicrobial agents at community pharmacies in developing countries. Systematic Review This systematic review found non-prescription sales of antimicrobial agents as reported in 28 developing countries across Asia, Africa, South America, Europe and the Middle Eastern region. Coronaviruses in guano from Teropus medius bats in Peradeniya. Coronaviruses in guano from Teropus medius bats in Peradeniya, Sri Lanka. This report describes the detection of coronavirus RNA in P. medius bat guano collected in Peradeniya, Sri Lanka. Prevalence of malnutrition and associated factors among community dwelling older persons in Sri Lanka. A cross sectional study in the Kandy district. 
hypertension, alcohol consumption and increased age were positively associated with malnutrition. Reference values for spirometry for healthy Sri Lankan adults aged between 20 to 65 years. This study led to the derivation of prediction equation for spirometry for healthy Sri Lankan adults aged between 20 to 65 years. The Faculty of Arts The Faculty of Arts is one of the important centers of teaching and research in the humanities and social sciences. The faculty has a long research tradition. Post-war livelihood trends in northern and eastern Sri Lanka. This study documents the livelihood shifts in the northern and eastern provinces since the end of the war in May 2009. Nutrient cycling in a tropical montane rainforest under a supply-limited weathering regime traced by elemental mass balances and magnesium-stable isotopes. Authors report on novel applications of magnesium-stable isotopes in combination with mass balance calculations to quantify nutrient supply and recycling in a tropical ecosystem. The impact of public debt on private investment a Sri Lankan experience. The study examines the impact of public debt on private investment in Sri Lanka using the annual data from 1978 to 2015. Appearances are deceptive. Identity crisis in Plautus Manekmi and Amphitruo. This paper focuses on the issue of identity presented in Plautus Manekmi and Amphitruo. Plautus touches on social, political and philosophical concerns of the day while evoking humour. Launching of the traditional Nurtigi CD by Dr. Lina Senehevira. Dr. Kanshuka Dharmasiri produced a stage play, Nudu to S or Unseen Eyes. The Faculty of Dental Sciences Being the only dental faculty in Sri Lanka, the Faculty of Dental Sciences is involved in the delivery of dental education, providing clinical services to the public and conducting research on basic and clinical sciences with a special focus on local and global needs in diagnosis, treatment and prevention of oral diseases. Recently, a state-of-the-art research facility for oral cancer, the Center for Oral Cancer Research, was opened. The faculty research output covered several research areas including oral cancer and oral pre-malignant disorders, anthropological and anatomical studies with forensic importance, oral microbiology and immunology, and the epidemiology of dental caries. The Oral Cancer Research Group has developed a predictive model for nodal metastasis using histopathological parameters of oral squamous cell carcinoma. The model provides a way of using combinations of histopathological parameters to identify patients with higher risks of nodal metastasis for surgical management. Anthropological and anatomical studies on the analysis of fragmented human remains dated to the mid-Holocene, recovered from a salvage archaeology operation conducted at a shell midden in the coastal village of Miniatelia in the southern Sri Lanka that was supported by the faculty members. This study has revealed the bioarchaeological aspects of mid-Holocene aquatic foragers who were contemporaries of early agricultural people of South Asia while describing a framework for managing a skeletal sample. Researchers working on the anatomy of the human skeleton using advanced technology such as CBCT and other experimental techniques have demonstrated anatomical variations of the styloid process, differences of the distance between the anterior nasal spine and the greater parotene foramen and the occurrence form and the position of supraorbital nerve exits in the human skeleton. These studies provide valuable knowledge for the clinicians. The Faculty of Engineering 
the significant improvement in the learning environment, infrastructure and services during recent years has immensely contributed for the Faculty of Engineering to mark its position in the global educational map. Through the expert and laboratory services extended to the industry, the faculty has served the nation in an unprecedented manner. The faculty has coordinated many major industry and research related activities. The Technical Capacity Development Project under SIDA SAREC funding, the five year research project on solid waste management under SATREP JICA funding that produced a national policy framework on solid waste management and the Water and Society Asia project on water usage, management and conservation under Norwegian funding are some of them. Recent achievements of the academics of the faculty include the contributions done to Ravana 1, the first satellite launched by Sri Lanka, winning the coins investment prize, the largest amount of prize money by an undergraduate. The award for the best data engineer at Datathon 2019. Global award winner at the IMEC 2018. And the winner of IEEE Electronic Design Competition. Research outcomes of the academic staff have reached highest recognition that is evident by 236 technical publications in prestigious scientific journals and conference proceedings, keynote speeches and several awards including the President's Awards for Scientific Research in 2019. The Faculty of Management The Faculty of Management is the youngest faculty which was established in 2015. The academics and students of the Faculty of Management undertook many researches in the area of business, management and contemporary trends in multiple disciplines. Action at a distance, accounting inscriptions and corporate governance of a public sector bank in a developing country. By using Lato's notion of action at a distance, this study examined the ways in which the government acts at a distance to achieve corporate governance of public sector banks and the extent to which accounting enables such actions of the government. Strategic corporate social responsibility creates social value in local Sri Lankan dairy industry. A case study of Lucky Lanka the study found that strategic CSR initiatives can address numerous social issues in the rural economy, survival and longevity of family businesses. A case of Eastern business culture, this study examined how Sri Lankan family businesses survive over the long term across generations. The role of technological dependencies, the impact of mobile service quality on mobile cash service acceptance. The results suggest that the unified theory of acceptance and the use of technology directly affect the usage, intention and functional quality aspects of mobile service quality. A successful creative exhibition on the theme Lean Manufacturing was conducted by the fourth year students. The Faculty of Medicine Peradeniya Medical Faculty has contributed numerous cutting-edge research findings which has greatly impacted on the advancement of local and global health. The faculty continues basic science research, applied and clinical research in all types of medical related disciplines. Research outcome of the faculty is evident by 195 full paper research articles published in prestigious scientific journals and six President's Awards for research publications. Global, regional and national cancer incidents, mortality, years of life lost, years lived with disability and disability adjusted life years for 29 cancer groups 1990 to 2016. A systematic analysis for the global burden of disease study. Angiotensin II increases endoplasmic reticulum stress in adipose tissue and adipocytes. Omega-3 fatty acids in obesity and metabolic syndrome. A mechanistic update. Transcriptomic and microRNA analysis of gene networks 
regulated by eicosapentaenoic acid in brown adipose tissue of diet-induced obese mice. High-dose immunosuppression to prevent death after paracot self-poisoning. A randomized controlled trial. Epidemiology, toxicokinetics and biomarkers after self-poisoning with Gloriosa superba. Characterizing mobilized virulence factors and multidrug resistance genes in carbapenemase producing Klebsiella pneumoniae in a Sri Lankan hospital. Exposure to Hanta virus is a risk factor associated with kidney diseases in Sri Lanka. Prediction of organophosphorus insecticide-induced intermediate syndrome with stimulated concentric needle single fiber electromyography. The venom of spectacled cobra. Elapidae naja naja. In vitro study from the distinct geographical origins in Sri Lanka. The Faculty of Science, true to its tradition, has kept abreast of scientific research as one of the leading faculties of science in the country. The eight departments conduct numerous research which include nanotechnology, plant science and ecology, molecular phylogenetics of economic plants, insect resisting crop varieties, evolution of virus diseases, identification and management of chronic kidney diseases, Materials and Devices for Energy and Environment Applications Theoretical Research on Magnetic Thin Films Synthesis of Colloidal Quantum Dots for IR Photo Detection Trace and Rare Earth Elements Material Science Mosquito Vectors and Ecology of Vector-Borne Diseases Phylogny and Systematics of Parasites and Vectors Wetland Ecology Fisheries and Aquaculture conservation and wildlife management, statistical approaches for geochronology in Sri Lanka. Over the past 12 months, the researchers have published 160 papers in top referred journals, 165 papers in top peer-reviewed conferences. They have been awarded 26 grants worth 465.6 million rupees and are involved in 61 projects. The faculty has been awarded 14 presidential awards, 5 other prestigious national awards and 1 international award. The faculty is further involved in much collaboration with leading international institutions as well as holding international fellowships. The Faculty of Veterinary Medicine and Animal Science the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine and Animal Science is the only higher education institution in Sri Lanka which trains veterinary surgeons. Comparison of antioxidant activity, phenolic and flavonoid contents of selected medicinal plants in Sri Lanka. Among the 25 plants tested, Terminalia chibula, Flugia leucopyrus and Cassia fistula gave high antioxidant capacities. Molecular characterization of Fasciola jacksoni from wild elephants, Elephas maximus maximus of Sri Lanka. A taxonomic evaluation. Fasciola species are highly pathogenic trematode parasite, which are occurring in man and herbivorous animals. A similar parasite recorded in wild elephants in Sri Lanka, which is known as Fasciola jacksoni. However, the molecular taxonomic studies of the researchers have revealed that Fasciola jacksonoi belong to another genera but not the Fasciola. The occurrence of aflatoxins in edible vegetable oils in Sri Lanka. This study provides baseline information for the regulators to implement necessary standards and legislations. Postmortem detection and histopathological features of canine spirocercosis induced putative esophageal chondrosarcoma. Spirocerca lupi is a parasite of the dog, and recently a research study conducted in the department has described and characterized the postmortem and histopathological findings of the putative esophageal chondrosarcoma associated with spirocerca lupi in the dog. International collaborative research done with respect to elephant reproduction over the years has culminated in publishing a chapter in the 10th edition of one of the leading textbooks in veterinary reproduction in 2018. 
The research on veterinary drugs and chemical contaminants in food has attracted over 70 million rupees worth research grants over the past year to strengthen the facilities of the faculty with the establishment of a state-of-the-art liquid chromatograph mass spectrometry laboratory. The cutting-edge research findings of the University of Peradeniya has greatly impacted on the advancement of science and humanities both locally and globally. Together, towards tomorrow.